it's Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. So let, I'll show you how to get in. So you want to go to funbridge.com and then go over to get started slash practice and uh, exclusive tournaments. Let's see what we can do. All right. Uh, so taking out the top spots today are an old Ruby plus 28, Clef one and Dr. Kev and Philip Harrison in equal second with plus 26. Rosoff and uh, Milano 75 plus 25 imps. So nice work to all of you. Let's uh, see uh, what we can do. All right, 21 points, pass, pass to us. So uh, we've got a couple of ways of approaching this hand. I could just open two clubs, planning to bid two spades and then three hearts. Or I could just open one spade, planning to jump to three hearts afterwards. So they're my sort of two avenues. So firstly, do I necessarily want to play in game on this hand? Um, my partner can't respond I wouldn't be opposed to missing a game. So uh, I think two clubs would be fine. And I think that in Arjean's system, they actually um, play this as a lot weaker than I do. But just out of principle, I wanna highlight uh, the uh, one spade and sort of uh, three hearts bid. So three hearts I could consider. I've now also got a takeout double available. Let's start with takeout double. And now if I bid three hearts, I think I'm showing a pretty good hand. Five spades, four hearts. All right, so partners bid two spades, three spades. Uh, they've been pretty miserable on that. Um, the takeout double makes me think that the hearts are sitting over me. I think just going low is okay. Um, I'm not sure if Arjean thinks that I'm as strong as I've intended this to actually be, uh, but I think there's a solid way of trying to bid it. I've got three points and a fit. Queen of hearts is an amazingly useful card. Queen, 10 of hearts, they're paying dividends. Jack, 10 of diamonds, these cards are great. So um, as it is, we're probably missing a game here. Uh, so I would expect that I'd lose some imps on this. Uh, but if you changed any of those points to be in clubs, like change that queen of hearts to being queen of clubs, totally happy not being in game uh, as it is i've still got two diamond losers a heart and maybe a spade loser i could easily run into a 4-1 break here and even a 4-1 spade break uh it's not going to be easy so i i wouldn't be surprised if spades are 4-1 if people are going off in um four hearts here all right so we're drawing two rounds of trumps we got a diamond discard. Okay. Um, I'm not afraid of them getting a heart rough, so we'll just uh, play a heart to the 10. Heart to the queen is also fine. And um, just wondering if I can afford to play a diamond towards the nine. So diamond towards the nine, they win, they play a club and a rough. I draw one trump, heart. Yeah, I don't think I, I can afford to. All right, so we've trumped in, we can play a heart over, and now we can afford to play the diamond. I can always lose to this West player, there's no issues there. All right, uh, diamond to the nine, I did, right? Yeah, I was talking about that. Uh, it looks like I might be able to get a beer card, but only if they rough in. Beautiful, got the beer card and uh, made 10 tricks. So, oh, I lost, I, I gained an imp. I thought um, some people might Thought more people would be in four spades here. Some people in two no trumps, some, a bunch of people in four spades, but uh, going down. Definitely easy to get tangled up on that one. Uh, decent amount of people in two spades and three spades. 
Uh, moving on to board number two. Ooh, beautiful 13 count with a six card diamond suit. So we'll bid one diamond. I can't remember bid three diamonds. I think that they'll think, no, I was thinking that they might take that as stronger, but 11 to 15 is fine. I like trying to push them up to the three level there. And, uh, right. Um, diamond lead. So my partner bit a no trump. I've got a heart stopper. Dummy's got six high card points. Uh, just in case it's a singleton king. Nope. All right. So my partner's got king jack to five clubs. And they're just going to cross rough for a little bit. No. Are they finessing me? Okay. They're finessing the spade. Which works. So I am just an absolute passenger on this hand. And I think my partner's probably got the last two tricks. Yeah. They'd used all their trumps and their queen of hearts came good there. Uh, so that hand played really well for them. I don't know if I've done... Oh, plus two imps, good. A lot of people in four diamonds doubled, four spades doubled. Wow. There was a lot of action on that board. Uh, maybe not a lot of people. There's uh, like 11 people in... Ooh, and two more in doubled contracts. But uh, yeah, just defending uh, three hearts seemed perfectly reasonable there. So we're up to plus three. Moving on to board three. Just remembered someone had a recommendation to change my card settings. So I'll see if I can do that. Uh, see if I can make them bigger. Um, make some bigger. It's French. French with big. All right. So I'm going the big symbols. <laughs> so let me know what you think. I personally don't like the four colors of the uh, light blue and the orange diamonds, um, but they're easier to see. So I'll give this a shot, um, but let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the big symbols making it easier to see or the sort of more classical pack? Ideally, I reckon I like the big symbols, but really wish that it was just two colors. That would be my preference, but uh, couldn't find that unless I chose a French pack. Um, all right, uh, 13. I'm going to be interesting challenge to see how I go actually um, uh, playing with uh, a French pack of cards. Andrew TDDS said, uh, I'm with you on the classical look for the colors. Yeah. Uh, they, let, let's push on to three diamonds. I've got an extra diamond here. Push them up to the three level. Great. Okay, my turn to play. Uh, Single Queen of Hearts looks decent. Um, my partner didn't support diamonds, but I can always go Queen of Hearts and shift later. Okay, so Queen of Hearts, that went round to the ace. Dummy had a four triple three on hearts. They've got 13 points. My partner shifted to a club, which makes no sense to me. Like, uh, why would they do that looking at the King Jack? They don't have anything there. Why would they not lead the suit that I've bid a couple of times? Why would they not repeat hearts? And I think it's just so that they might have like a diamond void and want me to shift to diamonds. I don't think they've got a singleton club. Like that's another potential option, but that would give uh, this East player six clubs, which just seems not, not happening. So we just want to go in there and uh, shift to a diamond. And there's the void. That's why they did it. Um, here I shifted to the nine of diamonds as suit preference to say, hey, please return the higher ranking suit. Try and uh, play a heart. 
uh, but they weren't there for that. Um, the ro the robots don't uh, do suit preference like that, at least on. I don't know if they know suit preference there, but um, they're getting to throw their diamonds away. Okay. Um, well, we got, you know, one rough. It was almost there. Minus three imps. Uh, so some people beat three spades. Lots of tricks. Their partner just immediately returned a heart. So that one's just my partner not continuing hearts, which I think is like totally what they should do. I don't think there was anything I could do to help out there, but uh, yeah. If, you, if your partner ever does something really, really strange, like playing a club there just makes no sense to me, unless they have a diamond void. Often people are like, what are you doing, partner? But usually there's a good reason. Um, I don't know why they didn't uh, give that rough later, but uh, that one was just a mistake. The club was a really weird switch. Try and work out why they do that. Uh, flat 16, so just open a no trump. Two spades. Uh, transfer to clubs, yep. Okay, and there's a short, well, okay, there's a shortage in hearts. Okay. Uh, I always play that I bid the shortage where I'm at, so I wasn't expecting that to be a shortage in hearts, but at any rate, I got hearts well and truly covered. So, uh, here we go. Um, Jack of Spades lead. I didn't lead hearts. Uh, we've probably got six club tricks. Um, I can try and build tricks in diamonds. Uh, that Jack could be from Ace Jack 10, um, in which case it's awkward for me. Uh, but no, it's, that's not the case. So we've got two spades and six clubs. And now the question is, do we want to build tricks in diamonds or hearts? Um, they both look like they're going to build two tricks. I'll just go diamonds. Uh, the reason being they might underlead their ace of hearts. And... No. Okay. Uh, let's see if clubs are breaking to nil. They're not. So we've got the rest. Importantly here, I've used my last entry, so I'd want to take like my king, queen of hearts and the queen of spades, or at least one of those to throw that diamond away. Okay, plus three imps. Moving on to board number five. Uh, what do we got? 10 high card points and a six card suit. So I want to play four hearts here. So just checking if we've got, we don't have Jack. Of... These are two suited. Okay. Um, so I'm just transferring. So we're not playing Texas transfers, it seems. So just uh, transferring and bidding four hearts with a six card heart suit. You can transfer and bid four. Because you know partner's got at least two for you. All right, I got a heart loser. I got two club losers and I got a diamond loser. I could throw a club on the ace of spades. I could throw a club on a diamond. I could trump a club. Uh, I do want to be slightly careful of like, let's say I win the king of spades and I play heart, heart, and then they win the second round of hearts and go after clubs. Uh, that my timing might be too long. So um, I probably need to discard a club on the uh, ace of spades uh, on, after this trick if they didn't take the ace. When they took the ace, that's fine. Uh, I've got no issues other than a diamond rough and they're setting up to get a diamond rough. But they didn't take it. All right, so at this stage, I've got ample ways to get rid of it, but I want to draw a trump, rough a spade, draw trumps, then dispose of it however I want. Like, 
you could play the ace of spades with like near certainty safety here um but uh like i'm not in any rush i can do that later so making four hearts plus three imps moving on to uh board number six five five nineteen count all right uh this one's really interesting um there's an interesting convention that i don't think we're playing but some people play something called leaping michaels where if you bid to four clubs it would say you had five clubs and a five card of the other major and like a really strong hand that would be ideal for this um three hearts is not always um michaels and here they're showing it as uh a minor suit two suitor four hearts it's just forcing doesn't say anything so it doesn't look like i've got a way to show spades and a minor with a really strong hand um but there are a few different options so three hearts uh some people i, I haven't actually seen this be both minors before so that's unusual to me uh, but what i have seen it be is be um like asking for a stopper instead so all right, uh, where was I? So I was actually just thinking of like doubling and bidding again, something like that. I'm too strong for just a two spade bid. Uh, two no invite, we're not playing love and soul. All right, so if I bid three spades here, wow, it's non-forcing. Three hearts is a strong hand. Uh, I'm just like not seeing any way to actually show um, a five five here. Um, how strong is my partner i got nine to ten points i've got hearts well and truly stopped like four hearts should three no's should be fine are we making a slam so uh let's say my partner's got you know the queen of spades the ace of hearts and the king of diamonds uh we could very well make six clubs with that we could make six spades pot potentially um so i feel like slam is definitely like quite a reasonable option and if i could find could have found any way that i actually showed like a strong two suited hand with spades and a minor i would have been a lot more interested in uh pursuing this here like i could like bid four clubs forcing with clubs and like where on earth am i going to end up uh is there a good way I don't really see it. How many points should two no trumps after your double show? Uh, very often I play Levin Soul in this spot uh, where two no trumps is just an artificial bid. Um, you, you definitely, like, if you're not playing Levin Soul, so if you play Levin Soul, two no trumps not natural. It doesn't show points at all. It just says, I've got like a weak hand that wants to try and show something. Um, if you're playing it as natural, you definitely don't want to bid it on really weak hands. So usually what you want to think is the takeout doubler is usually in like the 11 to sort of 16 point range. And you want to be invitational opposite that. Uh, nine points is probably as weak as you would want to really consider it there. Um, I feel like I'm missing a slam anyway, but I don't see how to untangle it here. Um, just not a fan of the uh, methods we got. So. I'll try and do the best I can, which is not the best on the board, I think. So, Queen of Spades, I <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> Literally every card I mentioned, I've got that. Six clubs is just like an absolute spread here. Um, that's just... Uh, why do they have to do that to me? Um, effective preempt then, yeah. Um, that being said, I would really like other methods that would, you know, be useful. Anyway, let, let's just duck one round of hearts. Uh, this is, okay, ducking a round of hearts worked great. Uh, we've got seven spades. We just want to see how they go. All right, so we win there. My clubs are going to be good. Um,
Just trying to work out if there was any potential squeezes that we got available. Check for the ten of spades. Great, and we got the rest. Yeah, so I'll lose some imps here. I was really hoping spades weren't three three, so at least six spades would go down. Looks like six spades makes on this as well. Um, but six clubs is a great spot, and yeah. I would have liked to have done more bidding, but couldn't see a good way out there. I might have missed it, but how would you have bid this with your normal partner? Uh, that's a good question. Um, let's see again. Uh, what I like to play is a convention called Leaping Michaels, which is over week two bids. Uh, so over the two heart bid, I would like to be able to jump to four clubs here and have that say I've got at least 15 high card points but basically I've got like a really strong um, two suited hand uh, with five of my suit and five of whichever major they didn't bid. Um, so in this case it would be showing five clubs, five spades, 15 or more high card points basically saying do you want to play four spades or do you want to be playing five clubs sort of thing. Um, and at the very least, the, the we, we might not get there. The North Hand might just bid five clubs. Uh, but I reckon they've got a pretty good hand opposite that with the Ace of Hearts, the Queen of Spades being real good, the four-card club support being fantastic, and the King of Diamonds maybe being useful or not. Um, it's much more likely I would have a Singleton Heart and having two diamonds. So what I would like them to see is two hearts, four clubs. i got clubs and spades and a really strong hand. Pass four hearts being like hey i've got a good hand for you and then this hand is saying all right let's just try a slam it's not the most scientific but you know i think that's one way of trying to untangle it and what i would have done with my normal partner uh but we still got three imps which when you miss a slam that's pretty good Uh, if four hearts implied club support, that'd be an excellent bid. So I don't think four hearts necessarily implies club support. I think it implies good support for one of the two suits, right? If the hand wanted to slam try in spades, it might bid four hearts and then just correct six clubs to six spades. Uh, but I would work on the assumption that there was a fit somewhere. And my partner will tell me which one it is. And because I had extra points, I would go for it. Yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, spade, double. All right, so here I got a really weak hand. Pass is fine, but whenever the auction gets competitive, I like to stretch to show support. So uh, especially with an honor and partner suit. So two, two spades here. And I'm just going to turn down their game try. And this ace is going to keep doubling. Yep. All right, so... What do we got? We got 15 opposite four, so they've got more points than us. The East player, which is over here, has the vast majority of the points. We've got a couple of spade losers, three heart losers, two club losers, and a diamond. Um, I can try trumping some hearts. I can do lots of different plays in spades to try and reduce them down. I can try leading a club towards the king. Or I can see if I can get an extra winner in diamonds and maybe dump a club. Um, but at the start, let's see if they get wishy-washy and fall for the bath coup. They did not. The bath coup is where we've got the ace jack and if they continue, uh, my jack would have just become a winner straight up. All right. So anyway, we're gonna go ace of hearts heart. Trump a heart. Okay, so they had five hearts. Okay. Um, okay, so the spades are all done. Um, see if the uh, ten of diamonds falls. Doesn't. So we're going to try a club towards the king. Could have considered ducking the club. I don't think there's any chance of um, 
there's no chance of them being out at that stage or like singleton ace but i could have considered it okay down two minus two imps uh some people played two spades making or down one spade was the maximum we could do here so i'm not too worried about that uh what was the entire hand what was east's hand they had 18 high card points yeah and five hearts if hearts were four three uh would have gone a fair bit better for us i think um yeah unfortunately they didn't quite have enough to make game and we went two down but uh i really like trying to raise where possible here so there's not a good example of it and lost a couple of imps going for minus 200 uh, but it's not like the end of the world and there's lots of times that uh raising there will work out really well final board uh 15 count one heart pass pass to me i'm just going to bid a no trump here um Wow, that is so weak. Uh, <laughs> all kinds of different partnerships play different ranges for balancing one no trump. I'm not the biggest fan of reducing it by nearly this much. Uh, so for me, um, I like one no trump in the pass out seat where it's gone. Opening, pass, pass, uh, B. Weaker than 15 to 18 um 11 to 14 is pretty normal that's like probably the most common for me 11 to 14 is weaker than i like it i usually like uh 13 to 16 um because i just absolutely despise having to like try and double and then end up in two no trumps so for me i like it to be a bit stronger and i might miss a game but i'm just gonna stick to a bit of no trump um didn't miss a game Okay, uh, also if I doubled partner would have bid one spade and then when I bid one no trump, that would probably pass, I think. Um, so it would have worked out okay if I doubled the other way. Uh, but like, imagine I double and partner bids two diamonds and then I feel like I bid two no and then they're like, oh, should we bid three no or something? Uh, anyway, we got seven opposite 15. So 18 points missing. Uh, so it's like 13 and five or yeah, um, 18 and zero or something. Probably not the 18 and zero. Uh, I want to build tricks and clubs. Um, I might just let this run around to my Jack here. And I think I'm just going to spurn the club finesse and just go ace of clubs club. Uh, the king of clubs was probably in the west hand anyway um, so i didn't want to use my only guaranteed entry for doing that um, just thinking about what my other options are here like i kind of wish that after i saw the king of clubs maybe i unblocked the queen but i don't know that they're not for one um but I should have considered that a bit more because at this stage, I'd, I'd sort of just want to run my clubs. But I'd also like to preserve the king of hearts. And I don't want to win the ace of hearts, go up there and just not get back to my hand. So. Unblock that and heart discard. Okay, so. Uh, they're throwing heart winners away uh they've got two clubs and uh five hearts so they're probably a balanced hand um now um, that means if they're a balanced hand east has uh, like four points and west has 14. Four, east has four or five points west does the the rest Diamond to the jack was entirely sensible, but I feel like I can m maybe end play them. Another heart discard. 
Spade. Okay. Uh, Ace, Queen, and Diamonds were offside. Um, yeah, I've got the rest. Okay, so I don't think I start on that one, but uh, I'm not sure much. I could have done much better. Oh, they had six hearts. Didn't pay attention when they showed out. But we won an imp. Beautiful. So uh, finished with plus eight. Um, I think the most interesting board is sort of like the approach on what you do on board number three, which is when um, I led my heart and my partner shifted to a club. Like, why would they do that? Uh, often people will just get like annoyed at their partner, but I think it's a strong indication that they've got a void diamond. Um, now, a diamond was like the only sensible thing that I could do anyway. Or like you could consider playing a club, but again, not too relevant. And my partner should have returned a heart and would have been fine. But uh, I think that sort of reasoning is really important there, being able to do that. Uh, but uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this week's Funbridge tournament and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.